U.S. Air Force planes unleashing dozens of aid packages across northern Gaza over the weekend. <laughs> causing crowds of Palestinians to rush to the drop sites to collect what they can. The bundles, containing tens of thousands of meals and bottles of water, come at a time when the United Nations says more than a quarter of Gaza's population faces starvation. There is no food, there is no meat, no rice. Israeli ground and air operations to eliminate Hamas from Gaza continue driving up the civilian death toll. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry reports more than 30,000 Palestinians have been killed since the start of the war, which is now in its sixth month. <laughs> IDF campaigns across northern and central Gaza have displaced much of the population to the southern town of Rafa, a place Israeli officials call one of the last Hamas strongholds in the region. While he still supports Israel's right to self-defense, President Biden continues warning Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu against the full-scale ground invasion into Rafah, saying this during an interview on MSNBC's The Saturday Show. He must, he must pay more attention to the innocent lives being lost as a consequence of the actions taken. He's hurting, in my view, he's hurting Israel more than helping Israel. Meanwhile, with the Muslim holy month of Ramadan now underway, Displaced Palestinians throughout Gaza are trying to celebrate the best they can, but because the holiday involves fasting from sunrise to sunset, medical professionals are concerned over how people will fare, given that food and clean water are so scarce. Chris DeMeo, Fox News.